So as our state mourns tonight, the shooting hit even closer to home for many other Marshall County High alumni. One woman shared her memories and heartbreak with Connor McHugh hours after she heard the news. That continues our Big Story team coverage. Thumbing through her old yearbook. Right there it is. Sue Darnell Ellis remembered the many mornings she spent in the common room at Marshall County High. I knew exactly what they were talking about. This morning, a 15-year-old student opened fire in that same place, killing two students and injuring a dozen others. Just disbelief. How could this happen in Marshall County? You know, how could this happen in such a quiet little Mayberry-ish community? Though Ellis lives and works in Frankfort now, she still has family in Marshall County. She says one member was in the common room today, too. She is going to school there, and her boyfriend grabbed her, took her away from the commons area, and therefore she's safe. Ellis says Marshall County is resilient and already dealing with plenty of tragedy. This month, three boaters died in an explosion on the Tennessee River. A fire at a county maintenance shop also destroyed more than a million dollars of equipment. They will rally around. They will pull together. They they will pull themselves up by their bootstraps and and continue forward. Though hundreds of miles away, Ellis says her heart remains home in Marshall County tonight. Covering the news in Frankfort, Connor McHugh, LEX 18 News.